How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on meaning, and I just want to start off by saying that one can get tired of something to the point that it no longer has any meaning for the person. A person may love his job and do it for years until one day, out of the blue, it no longer has any meaning for him. A person can also travel around the world until it loses its meaning and the person no longer knows what he's doing with his life. So what is the meaning of meaning? What is the source of meaning? When you look back on your life and your experiences, what is it that made them meaningful to you? We need to realize that what we take for granted doesn't have any real meaning for us and many of us take our very life for granted so we are simply just carried along by life many people when they look back on their life they wish that if they could live their life all over again they would want to get more meaning from it so how can life have more meaning because after all it is through meaning that we all live our lives when things become meaningless we all feel hopeless and useless. Nobody wants to feel like that, right? So we get a certain amount of meaning from life and a certain amount from our imagination. There are two sources of meaning, but on completely different levels. We also need to realize that imagination can never be satisfied by reality. And this is something that through objective self-observation you'll come to realize that most people derive almost exclusively all their meaning through imagination. Imagination enhances meaning, but the meaning created through our imagination does not correspond to reality. Living from imagination, many of us form many illusions about ourselves and the world. For example, with me, I can imagine and affirm that I am the sexiest man alive but this will all just be in my imagination. It doesn't correspond to reality. So if we learn to see past our illusions, what happens to the meaning associated to them? Simply the, the meaning is destroyed, right? So we need to ask ourselves, do we want to find meaning in imagination or in reality itself? If you derive most of your meaning from your imagination, Life will be felt as very dreamlike, and then reality is unreal. Like in The Matrix, one of my favorite movies, Neo has the choice of taking one pill and going back into the Matrix, back into the dream, which is living in imagination, or take the other pill and wake up to reality. Unfortunately, most people don't want their illusions destroyed, so they choose to stay in La La Land but living from your imagination, they feed on your energies because they need you to keep them alive. And on my channel, I always talk about essence and personality. Our personality is in the realm of our conscious thinking mind. And if you're completely identified to your personality and take it to be your identity, then you will mainly be deriving meaning from your imagination because our personalities are a made-up conceptual amalgamation of ideas that we condition through the help of our environment and essence is what is real in us it lies just below the thinking conscious mind and the subconscious and when we start to wake up and start to recognize our essence our inner self we then start to derive more meaning from reality itself because our inner self is real and deriving meaning from reality you will begin to awaken from the dream you take to be real but like all dreams sooner or later we all need to wake up all right guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's topic if you did please help me out and hit the subscribe button and notification bell and please don't keep me a secret share with someone who might find my content valuable and until next time, many blessings. Peace.